Are you tired of spending hours creating study guides when you could be spending the time actually studying? Well, what if I told you that you could take any PowerPoint presentation, for example, and turn it into a comprehensive study guide in just minutes using AI? Here's the situation. You're a student who wants to succeed. You attend every class, you take detailed notes, and you collect all the materials your professors share. You're doing everything right. But when test time comes, you're drowning in information. You've got PowerPoint presentations, PDFs, lecture notes, and handouts scattered everywhere. You know you need to organize this into a study guide, but that process takes forever. Hours spent creating study materials means less time actually studying. And with multiple tests coming up, you're running out of time. Here's what's really frustrating. You're spending more time preparing to study than actually learning the material. I can help. I've been helping students and professionals get organized for years, and I've seen countless students struggle with this exact problem, and I have an answer for you. I'm going to illustrate the plan with a PowerPoint deck as an example. First, I've got to digress just a little bit and play the role of the professor who's creating the PowerPoint, and then I'll come back to address you as the student. So let's say this is going to be a music appreciation class, and the upcoming test is on Mozart. So as your professor, I want to create a PowerPoint presentation and do it quickly. Now, I've been a professor for many years, and I have all sorts of material about Mozart, but let's let AI take the material I have and create a slide deck. I go into PowerPoint and I create a new PowerPoint presentation using Copilot, which is Microsoft's AI assistant. Now, I could upload different kinds of material. That's easy enough, but I could just simply describe what I want. I could just simply say, uh, create a presentation about the life of Mozart. And if this was sort of a maybe a, a freshman class of a music appreciation, uh, that may be enough to give me plenty of information. So Copilot generates about two dozen slides automatically. Keep what works. Edit what doesn't. Just like any PowerPoint presentation, you can edit it to meet your needs. So now I have my PowerPoint presentation to give to you, the student. And now let's turn our attention toward being the student. Here's my simple three-step system that transforms any PowerPoint presentation into a quiz-ready study guide in minutes. Step one, upload and transform. Take the PowerPoint presentation from your professor, that Mozart PowerPoint for the music appreciation class. Open chat GPT and say, I have a PowerPoint presentation and want to create a study guide from the slide deck. Upload your file to chat GPT. It will analyze every slide and create a comprehensive study guide with key concepts, definitions, and even practice questions. What used to take you two to three hours now takes five minutes. And the more detail you give it about exactly what you want, the better the results are going to be. Step two, optimize for testing. Don't stop with a basic study guide. Ask ChatGPT, can you give me this in a question and answer format for self-quizzing? And ChatGPT does it for you. The question followed by the answer, followed by another question, followed by another answer. And if you want to see the questions and answers separately, you can continue by asking to simply format it as a, uh, the questions on one page and the answers on another page. Uh, but I have another example in mind for you or another idea. You could create your own digital flashcards. And here's what we want to do. Remember, ChatGPT gave us the question followed by the answer, next question, next answer. It already gave us that. So let's ask it to go back and format it so that the question is a level three header 
And the answer is in plain text. So it's going to automatically do that for you. Highlight it all, copy, and paste it into your note-taking app of choice. For me, it's Evernote. And I love Evernote's ability to use collapsible headers. So here's what we're going to do to create digital flashcards. Copy all that information into a new Evernote note. So your questions are level three headers. The answers are plain text. So here's the magic. You can collapse each header so that you see only the questions. You just mouse just to the left of each question. You'll see a little arrow point. Click the arrow point to collapse that section. So now it hides the answer. Just go through, hide all of the answers. Now go through and ask yourself the questions one at a time. And to reveal the answer, just click the little arrow point to the left of the header and it opens for you. You'll have professional flashcards in just minutes that you can use for this test. You can use it for any other test. So what does success look like? Imagine walking into your next test completely prepared. You spend your time actually learning and retaining information instead of formatting study guides. Your grades improve because you're studying smarter, not harder. And here's a bonus. If you share notebooks with other classmates, and that's one of the wonders of keeping your information digitally and in programs like Evernote, one person can house the notebook share it with everyone else, and anything that's in that notebook becomes visible to everyone else. So the study guide that one person created is now available to everyone. You become the student that other people want to study with. Look, other students are already using these tools. So while you're spending hours creating study guides the old way, they're using AI to create better material in minutes and spending the extra time mastering the content. So you can either adapt to these new tools or you can watch your classmates pull ahead. So the question isn't whether AI will change how students study. It's whether you'll be among the smart ones who adapt first. Your grades depend on it. So don't just watch this video, take action. Right now, grab a PowerPoint presentation that you have for a, for a class and go to ChatGPT, upload it, and follow the three-step system that you've seen in this video. Just go back, rewind the video, go through it again as you go through with your own PowerPoint presentation doing exactly what I did. You'll create your first AI study guide instantly. I share these strategies with you to help you get organized and make it look easy. And if you want to bring these time-saving strategies to your school or organization, either in person or virtually, take the next step by going to frankbuck.org. You'll be able to contact me and we can make plans.